So here, we know that the magnitude of the acceleration of the car as it uh, goes around the curve is given by the centripetal acceleration. This would be V squared over R. Uh, we're going to say that here, the only uh, the road is only is horizontal is perfectly horizontal. So this is an unbanked curve. Uh, therefore, in this case, only the frictional force of the road between the road and the tires uh, makes this acceleration possible. So we can say that here the force of friction would be equal to mv squared over r, or the mass times the uh, centripetal acceleration. Uh, here we can say that since the road is perfectly horizontal force normal would be simply equal to the weight of the car. And we can say that the maximum static force of friction would be equal to the coefficient of static friction times the force normal, or in this case, the coefficient of static friction times mg. Uh, we can plug this into uh, this equation and say that mu sub s mg uh, should be greater than or equal to mv squared over r. Let's cancel out the masses, and we see that V has to be less than or equal to the square root of the coefficient of static friction times the radius of curvature times the acceleration due to gravity. Now, uh, consequently, the maximum speed uh, would be equal to V times the coefficient of the coefficient times the square root of the coefficient of uh, static friction, 0.60. Uh, multiplied by the radius of curvature, 30.5 meters, multiplied by the acceleration due to gravity, 9.80 meters per second squared. And this is going to equal approximately 13 meters per second, which would equal the maximum velocity. This would be our final answer. That is the end of the solution. Thank you for watching.